Welcome to the back to school edition of the Villages V-Mail. A few years ago, when we began to plan for the future of the Villages, we knew it needed to include the expansion of our Villages Charter School in support of our growing community. You can imagine, it takes a tremendous amount of dedicated people to help create, deliver, and sustain the lifestyle we love here in the Villages. We knew early on that in order to attract and retain great people to provide these services, that a caring and quality education for our children would be key. Today's a very special day, as it's the first day of school for our students here at the Buffalo Ridge campus, as well as our students at the newly expanded charter school campus at Middleton, which includes the all new Villages Charter High School. And with the expansion of the Middleton campus, and the all-new high school, it's provided us the opportunity to convert our original high school into an all-new, amazing middle school. So let's take a peek at all that's been happening to get us prepared for our first day of school. It has been such an amazing, exciting project to have worked on. We are so excited for it to open and be full of kids. We're standing right here on the new turf field. It has a seating capacity of about 5,000 people. Down here we have some three and four year old classrooms and you can see they look like they're going into their home away from home. White picket fence, the, the clouds on the walls, it's just so beautiful. So Harper, as we're approaching here, we're coming up at the admin, the main entry of the school. Over here on the right side of us, we got the elementary wing. And over here on the left side, you got the middle school wing. Let's step into the art classroom right here, Harper. Pretty the amazing. creative space. Awesome, we got a lot of great light that comes in. I know the art teachers are gonna love that, the kids are gonna love it. So this is obviously uh, extremely colorful. Design certainly outdid themselves with their selections here. We have a lot of really cool areas for the kids to relax and hang out in between classes or after school. I love the cubbies. You have extra sinks in here. It is totally amazing and it looks like it's for little kids. The kids are gonna love it. Absolutely. So we've got a baseball field and softball field. We've got tennis courts. We've got some basketball courts outside, beach volleyball. And then we have an actual golf putting and pitching place out here. Well, we have a really great two acre courtyard here at the high school. In the courtyard, there are two stage areas. So you've got four basketball courts right here. So this is a massive gymnasium. Dance room and our cheer room. This is incredible. Impressive. So here we are inside the Tracy. So it's a pretty cool auditorium. We can seat about 800 people. Wow, this has been an amazing experience. I know this has been a, a long time coming for us. It's been three years of planning and uh, construction and everything that's happened here. So we're super excited to see these kids come to campus now. Yeah, and I'm sure this is the quietest we will ever see this campus. to be back. It's our first day of school for our staff and faculty, so welcome back y'all. Go Buffalo! I'm incredibly excited. These facilities are so amazing. I'm just so excited by all of the learning that's going to take place here. Oh, this is a beautiful building. It's a beautiful campus. Every year is better than the year before. It's great. We're very excited to have students and just continue to build on what we've already established. This is my 16th year as a principal of the middle school. I'm having the time of my life. Our students are incredibly fortunate and us too. I mean, to come to work each day, it's, it's a paradise. Such a privilege to be here and be part of it. Uh, amazing place, amazing place. You can't beat the first day with faculty and staff. It's not quite as much fun as students, the first day for students, but this is really, really close. Yeah, it's a great day. makes me tear up just seeing um, the facilities that my own children get to, to attend. So it's just a very special place and just an amazing place to work. My parents actually live here in the villages and I fell in love with the area, with the school. I am ecstatic as an educator and a lover of the littles. I can see that this has been carefully planned out 
I'll get emotional. <laughs> but I know that she's in great hands because of the community and the people that are hired to work here, the best of the best. She's been trying to get us to move here from Colorado for almost 10 years. I've got a sophomore in high school and a eighth grader, and we uprooted everybody from Colorado and came here, so now we're here. <laughs> That's what it's about, grandma's, grandpa's family. And it just feels like a family, it's just like you expect from the villages. <laughs> Been here since day one, and this is my last year. I'm retiring, so yeah, it's kind of bittersweet. But yeah, just to see where it's come from, from like that one building from preschool to fifth grade, and that front one building to all of this is just surreal. It's just overwhelming. Yeah, unbelievable. I love this place. I, I think it's one of the best schools just above and beyond. It's just amazing. The education that my son got, he had the whole world open to him when he was ready to go into college. He could go anywhere. He actually applied to like six schools. He was accepted at all of them. It's because of the education, the foundation that they set here. I started here when the school first opened in 2000. Graduated here and then decided it was a lovely place to come back and start my teaching career. I've never been anywhere else. I knew as soon as I graduated from the school and I had kids, this was going to be the school that they came to. To be an alumni and now actually be working for the Villages Charter Schools is probably the greatest feeling ever. It's something I've always wanted to do, so the fact that I had the opportunity come up for me to actually do it is insane. It's like a dream come true. Go Buffalo! I'm going into seventh grade and I'm excited to meet all my new teachers and see all my friends. It's very, I want to say easy to make friends because everyone's just very they like to connect, I want to say, and like all really nice. I'm excited to see all of my friends again. One thing that I'm excited about is about my teacher so sweet and kind. I'm mainly excited about PE and my soccer practice starting. Go, Go Buffalo! Buffalo! I'm just excited to try out for the softball team. She's really good at softball. Go Buffalo! I'm excited. For the new football stadium, it's really big. The games are going to be really good there. Go Buffs! I'm looking forward to the Fine Arts Academy, and I can't wait to have a great year. We build a community where people's dreams come true. So every employee of the Villages has the opportunity to, to send their child here. We found this great public school that offers everything that is in a private school with excellent education and all the opportunities for the kids. We want to thank you, our entire community, for your involvement and the giving of your time. Whether you're a booster sitting on the sidelines cheering our students on, or attending any of our arts programs, where this year these events will take place at the all-new Tracy Theater at the Villages High School. Last year, our Buffalo community represented over 100,000 hours of service. Thank you very much for that. It's no wonder that the Villages Charter School continues to maintain an A grade every single year. It truly is a unified effort between our parents, our students, the faculty and staff, and you, our community, that makes it all possible. Together, we continue to make the Villages community a great place to live, work, and play. We look forward to seeing you in the stands this year, and Go, Go Buffalo! Buffalo! Good day for it.